welcome to epg patshala in today's module i am going to discuss about how we can use php and mysql database connectivity that means using php how we can retrieve as well as insert record into mysql of course not insert same way you can update and delete record into it in the earlier modules uh, uh, we have gone through how you can write sql query in mysql now using this mysql how we can connect mysql php database so learning objectives of today's sessions are ways to connect php and mysql useful methods of pdo pdo stands for php data objects and php and mysql connectivity example if we look at the database uh, web uh, application architecture so very simple architecture is web browser and web server Uh, by web browser send request to the web server and web server in response give the file to the web browser but this is very simple architecture when there is a database centric application so web browser send request to web server through http uh, say for example we would like to list all the vendors who lives in particular city so user will enter city name and click on submit button so one file let's say for example fetch.php will be call so this request sent from web browser to the web server in our case a web server uh, is uh, we know that apache here right so apache will retrieve the request and it will also retrieve the file fetch.php and it will be send that as extension is php send to the php engine php engine uh, starts to uh, parsing the script and as there is a require for database connection it will be open database connectivity with database server mysql and send the query to mysql mysql execute the query and retrieves the result set and the result set is returned to the php engine php engine format the result generally in html format and send it to the web server and web server give it to web browser and then we can see the list of all the vendors who lives in particular city so the diagram shows that particular architecture uh, now to work when you work with an application as you know that an application programming interface or api is used to communicate with other application means your application can communicate with other application using api mysql also provides api to work with programming languages like php php provides three extensions to work with mysql api there's uh, uh, extensions are uh, known as a mysql i extension mysql i uh, extension or mysql i stands for improve extension and pdo uh, pdo driver extension pdo stands for php data objects and pdo itself is not a uh, extension but pdo is a data uh, you can say is a abstraction layer so it will be used uh, many drivers to communicate with uh, other database also but for mysql it will be used pdo mysql driver extension let's look at each one's pros and cons so first one we start with pdo so pdo means php data objects is available for php 5.0 and later version it provides object oriented interface means you can write your coding by using object oriented way and it provide consistent interface which is portable between many database servers such as oracle db2 ms sql server postgre and so on it use all the features available in mysql 4.1.3 and later version that means if you want to write a code which will be work with any database pdo is a best option because you just need to uh, make slight changes according to your uh, database syntax otherwise the sql syntax is same for most of the databases but what are the cons of pdo so it does not work with php 4.x or earlier version and it knows use advanced features of mysql 4.1.3 and later such as multiple statement but like in web database or web application this types of features very rarely used next one is mysql i here i stands for improve so it includes with php 5.0 or later version 
it provides both the facility for object oriented and processor oriented interface. So, you can write your code by processor oriented or object oriented and it use all advanced features of MySQLi 4.1.3 and later. The only I can say cons or limitations of MySQLi is that it can works with only MySQL database not any other database. If your application require to work with any other databases it uh, you can use PDO. Uh, then MySQL. So, this is the oldest one it is available for PHP 3.0 onwards 4.0 and 5.0 means PHP 3.0 onwards, but the uh, cons with this one is that it not use advanced features of MySQL 4.1.3 and later such as multiple statement and it is not under active development. Uh, I will prefer PDO because uh, through PDO you can work with any database. So, I will demonstrate example using PDO. Now, to connect uh, creating database objects of PDO class, we know that to create object we have to use new and class name. So, to create object of PDO you have to write new PDO and it takes three parameter DSN, username and password. Uh, now, DSN is data source name and for the it has also its syntax. For MySQL data source name the syntax is first you have to write database name here it is MySQLi then colon host is equal to host address semicolon db name is equal to your database name which you would like to use. This is one example dollar dsn. So, I assigned to one variable mysqli colon host is equal to localhost semicolon db name is account uh, and pdo class method to use select statement like say for example, we would uh, take example that retrieve the uh, all the vendor name who lives in particular city. So, for that it will be used fetch method. So, the syntax of uh, query method PDO class method is query and it takes one parameter and this is your query. So, it executes the select and returns a PDO statement object and PDO statement object contains result set of query dollar select query. If no result is written then it will return false this is the syntax first you write object then object access operator which is hyphen and arrow then query and you can write your query that will be assigned either in variable or in string and PDO statement class. So, be remember there are two types of methods one is PDO class method and another one is PDO statement class method. So, PDO statement class methods are fetch, fetch all row count and close cursor uh, fetch method will returns an array having result set for one row or you can say the next row means pointer of a record and array can be indexed by string as well as number. So, you can encoding use either name or number and uh, if no array is available it returns false fetch all will returns an array having all the rows of the result set row count method returns the number of rows affected by executing of last statement and close cursor method is close the cursor and freeze the connection to the server. So, the SQL statement can be issued this is all are the method of that. So, let us uh, demonstrate by example let me write very simple example. So, let me open my notepad plus plus editor and here first I write my HTML code. So, I type HTML and let me save this file as a file save as and let me save it onto my epg folder db and let me write gui let me write select gui select dot html because right now I want to write query for select. So, I write g gui select html dot h uh, gui select dot html inside html I have to code body tag and inside body I will write form, form tag as a action is equal to let me write let us say my PHP file name is I want to use fetch method. So, I write fetch dot PHP and method can be get or post any let us say for example, I can use get or post, but let me prefer here post slash form. So, form tag is complete. 
now i write enter city name so user can enter city name here so for that let me type input type is equal to text and name is equal to name of that that i can use in php code so here i define name is city and after that let me provide two button for submit and reset so let me code input type is equal to submit name is equal to submit and value attribute is equal to its value is submit the similar way i create reset button so i will write input type is equal to reset name equal to reset and its value is equal to reset and close that type so my select dot html file is saved on epg db gui select dot html let me save this and let me demonstrate that if this is web server is open so i will open my local host and let me demonstrate how it will be look look at the code is very simple form action is this method is this so right now it will running local host will shown here the uh, browser will open and it will open my local host and let me start coding for php also i would like to create one file fetch.php so here i use starting and ending tag and to call the file i have to write file name save as a fetch.php so let me save this as a fetch.php just look at here and in epg there is a db and we create gui so this is our graphical user interface and when user click on submit we would like to retrieve the records from where all the record will found so let me just show you what are the various records into it so i will write code here and i choose one database so let me first write dollar dsn is equal to so i write my code for my sql that's why my sql colon host is equal to here php and my database uh, on the same server so i write means same host local host and db name is equal to so let me sh show you what are different database i have account database and account database has a various tables uh, what are tables that we can see here but right now i require db name is account then i can write dollar u name for username is equal to i am not sure that is why i write root otherwise you have user and what are the privileges you assigned to him or her you can write it and dollar password so right now i do not provide password that is why i define this now just look at here this all are table in vendor table we have few records in it and it will also describe what are the attributes of vendor uh, relation so now i define dollar db is assigned to new pdo and let me define dollar dsn dollar u name and dollar password so my database connection is completed now i would like to retrieve the all the records of particular city so i will uh, use here query that dollar city is equal to dollar underscore post which we know that auto global variable and here i give name as a city so here i will write city of course if you like you can use the same name as your database like say for example in database the name is v city so if you prefer i can use dollar v city as well also dollar v city is so it is easy to remember what are the my uh, database uh, column name 
the same variable name I use here. So, dollar VCT is post CT. Now, I write dollar query is equal to. So, let me write very simple query to give idea about it. Select star from my table name is vendor and in vendor table there are many records. So, I write select star from vendor where VCT is equal to define dollar VCT right VCT I define here let me put one line break so you can easily differentiate this is our database connection then we define it and then we write query now it is not necessary but if you have doubt you can also write that query is what is your query is this is your dollar query right so this query will run but to get the reason result set you have to use fetch statement and we know that uh, fetch statement is pdo statement class so here here i have to define dollar result is assigned to dollar db and fetch so it will fetch one record uh, now i have to find as many records like say for example if i provide where city name is equal to ahmedabad so there are four or five records there so i have to write dollar row is equal to oh, fetch is a method of pdo statement class so i will write dollar result is equal to dollar db uh, we have write and i have to write dollar db query is my this query method because uh, result set is this but query is a method of pdo class so i cannot write db of fetch with that so query is this and then i can say row is dollar result and it will fetch one record right uh, again i will show you that uh, i as i said earlier this is pdo class method so that can i use with pdo object and this is my result is a pdo statement class so this is i fire the query then i retry one record and i would like to display all the records so i just use simple while loop while dollar row is not equal to null and you can display all the value here so for that first you define let's say for example dollar vid is dollar row and as it is says that fetch will you can use either index or string so it is always better idea to write attribute name instead of index because here vid i can write 0 or 1 uh, 0 or uh, index start from either 0 or 1 so the same you can provide but it is better to write name then i define dollar v name is assigned to dollar row and what are my column name is v name then i can define dollar v address is assigned to dollar row and column name is v address dollar v city is assigned to dollar row and column name is v city for vendor city and finally the attribute is vendor mobile so i write dollar v mobile is assigned to dollar row and column name is v mobile right so this all our value are displayed here now you can display so i just write echo br and then display each line so let me display echo and here you can what you want to print say for example i want to print vendor id and then i have to type dollar vid second column is echo br vendor name is dollar v name echo br vendor address is dollar v address next one is echo br 
vendor city is dollar v city echo br vendor mobile is dollar v mobile so all the attributes we have put into it but it will be display only one record and i use while loop so now i again have to fetch that value so i can write that dollar row is fetch that value so i will write here and finally i can write dollar result and to close the cursor i will use close cursor method let me save this file and let me execute that code so say for example here if i type city name is ahmedabad and click on submit so it will display all the records first it will show the query it is not compulsory i can put comment on to it if i don't want to display it right but to just give idea what our query is and this all are the output vendor id 3 4 5 6 and 10 you can verify it for record 3 4 5 6 and 10 city is ahmedabad so this is very simple method that i can use fetch you can write the same way code for fetch all also let's say for example let me copy that code to give just simple idea and here i call file name is fetch all dot php and let me save this file as a gui fetch all dot html right so this is gui for f i t c h fetch all dot html and let me create one more php file for this one so here i just copy paste it and save this file as a here i give name as a fetch all dot php to not make any mistake i go to the file save as and save it as a fetch all dot php and instead of that what should i write here now fetch all now i don't need to provide that loop but i can write for each let me define here it is dollar rows so i can write for each dollar rows as dollar row and inside that for each loop now i have to use the same code dollar row this value and display this value so i just cut it from while loop to here and paste it now i don't require that while loop right so i can use fetch all and display all this value again here i get the same thing here get the value from this result uh, pdo result statement and display it let me show you so let me go back to my browser and there is a gui fetch all and let me enter let's say for example rajkot as i enter rajkot so it will display 1 2 and record number 7 if we look at the database you can find record 1 2 and 7 as city is rajkot so this is all about fetch and fetch all so now you get idea about pdo statement class as well as pdo class method pdo class method is we use with pdo object so db object access operator and query we have written in our code you can look at here that's we called our result and this is our result statement so with that we can use this fetch fetch all and row count and close cursor uh, method uh, now pdo class has also method to modifying data in table so you want to insert update or delete something so you can use that method the method name is exec and it will be use sql statement and it will execute the what are sql statement you are pass and it returns a number of uh, rows that will be affected if no rows are affected it will return zero so in short if you want to use insert update and delete you can use exec method of course you can use query method also but query method will not return number of how many rows are affected so generally it is good idea to find out how many rows are affected you use exec method let me give idea about how you can use it let's say for example i would like to insert one record 
So, to insert any record, uh, let me use one GUI. If I have any available GUI for this one, so I can show you, otherwise, I have to insert it. Let me open one GUI here. So, I go to the file, open, and let me use GUI prepare insert that I can get it. Let me copy this HTML file and let me save this file as a file save as GUI exec dot HTML because I want to use for my this method. So, I save this one as a this one and here I create one PHP file. The name of PHP file is method name is exec for execute but there is execute method of PDO statement class also that is why I called it as exec.php. Let me create one file and I will save this with this name. So, let me open it and here I use the same code which I apply with fetch all.php. I just need to a very small changes. So, save this file as exec.php php because here I provide exec. So, I provide exec. This code are very same right. Now, here I define few variable not only dollar v c t, but I have to provide dollar v i d v name and all this value. So, I have to just write dollar v i d is assigned to dollar underscore post and you have to write the value of each one. So, we have v i d v name is dollar underscore post and you have type v name dollar v address is assigned to dollar underscore post and attribute name is v address not attribute, but in here HTML I use the same name for V I D I use name is V I D V name V address V city and V mobile. That is why to get all that value I will provide here dollar V mobile is assigned to dollar underscore post and name of this field is V mobile. So, this all are the field. Now, in query we know that to insert any record we can write insert into table name is vendor and I can write values into bracket dollar v i d then this all are string values. So, that will be a written in single quote dollar v name comma within the single quote dollar v address comma within single quote dollar v c t comma within single quote dollar v mobile. There are five fields and I insert value and each of it. So, this is my query we open uh, p d o statement there I just I do not want to display query if I want to display I can write it here. Let me save this file right and I have to close here double quotation to complete my query. So, this is query then I can write dollar result is dollar db and here the method name is exec and query and then I need to check how many rows are affected. So, I will write just to give idea echo br result is of course, it is not necessary, but to give idea result will return either how many rows are affected. So, I will write dollar result and check if dollar result is greater than 0, then you can write echo br record inserted successfully right. So, let me save this file this is 
the code is same I provide value from this uh, GUI and then I use insert query then I use as my this method is open execute method and run the query and check the result set. Let me show you that this database is a 10 record and we have one record number 11. So, let me open this GUI from here. So, this is GUI let me write vendor ID 11 name is Vimal address is let me write Rampart city is Rajkot and mobile number is any mobile number. Now, if I click on submit button. So, it will be on line 11 and 15 there is a spelling mistake. So, let me just check it on line 11 we name the error says that undefined index city on line 11. So, here it is v city right because I have defined here for city is v city and on variable name on line 15. So, there is a spelling mistake on v name here it is v name and here I define this one as a v name and v name. Let me try it again go back click on enter 11 vimal any address rampart rajkot and any mobile number. So, click on submit button uh, v a name me on line 15. So, line 15 is here ok here I write n a m e. If I save this file now and now I run it. So, uh, I think the record should be inserted there let me check it again this is vendor and vendor as this record is added you can check it vmail is not. So, let me enter another record let me add say 12 vpool and it is say Rundavan Park Ahmedabad and any record I can add click on submit button. So, record inserted successfully if you refresh it here and browse this. So, you can see that these values are added here earlier there is a problem in name that is why it will be not added because that I not provide compulsory, but V i d is primary key. So, that is why all this will be added. So, this is how you can use e x c c method and the same way you can use for update and delete. Uh, then there are some more methods of p d o class these are known as prepare and last insert i d s. Now, prepare is uh, why you require because uh, you know that generally to retrieve record we use get method and to uh, send the record means write record into database we use post method, but though there is a probability of SQL injection. To prevent SQL injection it is good idea that you provide parameterized query and for that prepare statement is used you not provide a static value, but it is a through parameter you provide value. So, this two method is one is prepare and in prepare you have to write SQL statement. So, it prepare SQL statement for execution and returns a PDO statement object. SQL statement can have 0 or more name means column and the name of that column name prepare or you can use question mark. And another method is last insert id. So, after a insert statement has executed this method get the id which has automatically generated from mysql for the inserted row. Uh, and there are some more method of PDO statement class the above method are of PDO class and PDO statement class is a bind value method. So, that will be bind the value you provide in your prepare statement with that. So, bind value method has take two parameter first one is parameter name and second one is its value. It returns true if success otherwise false and execute. So, look at here the difference between exec and execute method execute is a uh, execute the prepared statement and it is a PDO statement class method while exec is a PDO class method just uh, keep in mind that this is query and then we say. So, it is PDO class method, but execute is a PDO statement class method. So, it execute the prepared statement and returns true or false. Let me show example for this one. So, to demonstrate that example let me open the file here. So, 
let me open one file here GUI prepare select dot html so I write the same code here to give you idea let me open it GUI prepare select the same but here I choose file name is prepare select dot php and let me open prepare select dot php so here the code is same up to it is already same but in where we write where city is equal to colon v city means we give name and then we use dollar result is dollar db object access operator and prepare method query so we prepare that query and then we write dollar result object access operator bind value we bind v city with which value so dollar v city dollar v city is dollar post v city means user enter the value and then we execute the result then fetch all and then we display all the value let me demonstrate it here say for example if I write here let me write Raj code and submit so it will display all the records that we have inserted here we have 1 2 and 7 record as a Raj code right so this is prepare even if you write any value like we have Ahmedabad so it will display all the records which having value Ahmedabad 12 number records etc so this is prepare statement and uh, if you want to insert a value using prepare statement so again I write one demonstrate one more code that GUI prepare insert so again here I use the same VID V name that we use for exe method and it call prepare insert dot php so in prepare insert dot php file you have a PDO all the value as it is insert query but here again you use column name colon and your table column name and then you prepare and bind value each one with that particular variable then you execute and if it is successful then you write record is inserted successfully let me show it so here I will open with this one so the method is GUI prepare insert and in our database we have record number 12 so let me enter let's say for example 20 vendor name is let me write Piyush and it will be say like uh, Ravi Park city is let's say Surat and mobile is any mobile number right click on submit button so one record will be inserted successfully if I refresh it I can check it that this record will be inserted in my table so this is the that you can apply with prepare statement it is good idea to use prepare statement because uh, that will be helps you to prevent from SQL injection uh, now you can use PDO exception also because to give idea I write all the code and I hope that that work fine but as you know that you should write code for exception handling also so PDO has a also exception handling you can apply and for there is a PDO exception class is used for errors thrown by PDO library let me show one example of that one say for example let me open file for PDO exception so here I use PDO exception and uh, here I write password as a wrong password so in try I will write the uh, everything what will be execute if my code is has no any issue and then I catch PDO exception class and display it message so if I run this method so it will show me the error that while the error is this access denied for user root is localhost because I provide wrong password if my password is correct then it will be uh, work fine my password that I have to shit I have to delete my password so we know that password is empty for root and now if I run that code PDO exception so it will display all the records of my database so this is all about PHP and MySQL database connectivity let's summarize today's session uh, so first uh, we will come that there is a database architecture and uh, web server 
uh, send a uh, request by HTTP to web, uh, web, uh, web browser send request to web server and web server uh, send file to the PHP engine, PHP engine starts uh, parsing the script and it require database connection, it will be open connection with database server, database server get the query executed and set the result set to the PHP engine. PHP engine format it and give it to web server and web server send it to the web browser. Then we know that there are uh, three extensions provided by PHP to work with MySQL API, API. Uh, those are uh, uh, PDO, MySQL I and MySQL I. Then we know that uh, this PDO I am using and PDO as a PDO class as well as PDO statement. So we use uh, query method then we uh, use how you can use fetch and fetch all close cursor then we use pdo class exec method execute uh, to execute like insert update and delete statement then we use how to apply prepare and bind value into it so this is all about uh, php and mysql database connectivity you can uh, practice yourself and i uh, you enjoy it these all are the references that I am using for preparing this content. I hope you enjoy this lecture. Thank you.